What up? Welcome to Taco Potato Mustang. So yesterday morning, I was, uh, I had to take the Dude Stang, the 2014 GT, to get serviced. And I, it was like 18 degrees out. And um, it was the, <laughs> it was the latest version of, uh, I think, owning this Subaru with a heated steering wheel has, has ruined my, uh, my feelings for the, for certain parts of the Mustangs. Uh, and yesterday it was the steering wheel on the dude Stang. And, um, I just kept thinking, you know, I really love this car, but I wish that the steering wheel was heated. And, uh, I ended up taking it to the dealership. Um, initially I took it to get, um, just to get an oil change and, um, to try to get the Bluetooth, like the sync software fixed because, uh, my Bluetooth hasn't worked in that car in like three years. Um, so then they were like, Oh, it's going to be, $110 to do the software update. And I was like, uh, I don't know about that. seems kind of excessive considering that I'm supposed to be able to just download the software from the Ford performance website and, uh, and then just upload it to the car via a thumb drive. That didn't work. I've tried it a couple times. Um, but $110 still seems excessive, so I just decided to pass on that. Um, but I still had to wait for the car to get the oil changed. And um, and I, I walked into the sales room floor, and they had this, uh, like, Shelby Mustang. Not like a GT350, but, like, some type of special edition, like, Shelby GT. Um, that, I, like, if you look on the website, it's priced at, like, $90,000 or something crazy. But it looks cool. Um and uh, I, I forgot, of course I was wearing my Mustang hoodie and there's a guy, sales guy who comes over and he's like, starts talking to me, um, asking me if I'm interested in, uh, in Mustangs. And I'm like, yeah. Um, so then I, you know, I'm asking him, oh, you know, do you guys, have you guys had, had any Mach 1s? Um, he said that they haven't seen many of them, so... I was like, yeah, maybe I, you know, I haven't really looked at the new GTs. Um, and he's like, do you want to take one for a drive? I was like, sure. Um, so they, uh, they let me take a, uh, 2021 GT premium California special, um, for a test drive. And, uh, I, so this is the first time I've driven, one of the S550 Mustangs, you know, the, um, t since they like redid them in 2018, I drove a 2015 when those first came out and, um, and I liked it a lot. I was like, you know, this is like a really nice car, but it, I had only had my car for like maybe a year. And, um, so I was like, you know, this is really nice. There's a lot of things to like about this, uh, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna switch out from my, uh, my 2014 to get one of these new ones. And, um, uh, and then I think I drove like maybe one EcoBoost, um, Mustang at some point. And then, so this, so in 2018, they did like a, um, sort of a refresh, changed the front end and back end a little bit. Um, I think there's more color options. They gave the engine like another, I think 25 horsepower. So the so the new, so the newest Mustang GT has like 460 horsepower uh, versus the 420 um, that mine came with stock back in 2014. Um, and uh, so I, I had kind of intentionally been avoiding driving one of the new Mustangs because I'm like, I kind of felt like if I drove one and I really liked it, I would just end up buying it. And <laughs> I'm not sure I want to make that uh, type of decision at the moment, but uh, I have to say, like, I, I knew I was going to like it, but I was, I liked it a lot more than I was expecting. I was pretty impressed. Um, it was really comfortable. Uh, 
it has a lot of, I mean, I didn't really mess around too much with the tech um, or like the, like the uh, infotainment HVAC stuff. I just like basically made sure that um, the car was on and, and then I took it for a drive and it was a six speed manual, of course. Um, one thing I think I was most impressed about from the start was that um, the clutch on the new Mustangs is super light. Um, and the shifter had a really nice like motion and like it, it, it felt like really good when you're going in and out of gear uh, or, you know, going between the gears, which I did not expect because you, it has a similar transmission to what's in uh, the 2014, which I, for the most part, I've not had significant issues with, if you can ignore uh, what happened when uh, the shifter brackets um, uh, bolts like broke on the tail of the dragon uh, a couple years ago. But um, generally I've been okay with that transmission, but I have heard a lot of other people complain about it and say they have issues um, and that they don't love it. And then whenever you read reviews about people driving like, you know, journalists driving the new Mustangs, they usually will say something kind of snarky about the MT-82 that's in the GT. And then if they drive like a Mach 1 the, or the Shelby, they'll say, oh, they love the Tremec. I think it's a Tremec T56. It's just supposed to be a better transmission um, all around. I haven't driven a Shelby or a Mach 1, so I can't really speak to what those transmissions are like. Um, but I was pretty impressed with the MT82 on the new GT. Um, the brakes were really sensitive. Uh, they they were they took a little bit of getting used to. Um, the the seat was really comfortable. Uh, the sound was really good. I'm not sure what mode it was in, um, but the sound was like it sounded really nice. I mean, the Coyote engine I think sounds good, but it for being like a stock car. I was pretty impressed with how good it sounded. Um, another thing that took some getting used to was the um, the automatic rev matching. I don't think I've driven a car that has that yet, where like every time you downshift, it's like boom. And I thought that was, I was kind of surprised by it. Like at first I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then it kept happening. And I was like, oh, I guess like anytime you downshift, it does, it like, it like blips the engine. Um, I imagine there's a way to turn it off, but um, I'm sure my wife would not love that. Um, but I, it was kind of a like gimmicky, for like normal driving, but it was kind of cool. Um, it was, it was very comfortable. The ride was really smooth. It was pretty quiet, uh, in terms of like not having a lot of rattling, um, or a ton of road noise. Uh, the, the power was, it felt pretty good. I didn't go again. I didn't know. I'm not sure which, um, if there's a change in the power or torque, if you change drive modes, I don't remember what mode it was in. But the power, power felt pretty good. I didn't go like completely nuts, but I did get on it a few times. And I was like, okay, this is like pretty smooth. Um, feels good. Uh, the torque is up on that, um, on the new Mustangs too. I think they have like 420 or 425 pound feet of torque. And my year Mustang stock, they came with like 390. So they, you know, they've, they've improved on both horsepower and torque. And obviously they've done something with the transmission because the new GTs, it felt really nice. Um, I, uh, I, I think the, uh, the, th so what I, what I thought about when I got out of the car is like, um, to, for me, the test is always when I get back into my car, do I still really like my car or does it like, do I wish that I was in the other car? And that hasn't happened for me very often. Um, I say it's kind of similar to what happened when I drove the a new STI a few months back. Like I, I liked it a lot, but it wasn't, it didn't like blow me away. Um, and like, I didn't like desperately want to buy an STI. And, and I, I felt like, I probably felt like I wanted to buy a new GT more than I wanted to buy like that would, than I would have wanted to get an STI. I mean, obviously like, I got, I like, I'm a Mustang fan, but I like all sorts of cars. So uh, but the, the guy was like, um, I had mentioned something about the heated steering wheel issue 
And he was like, if I could find you one with a heated steering wheel, would you be interested in buying today? And I was like, oh my God. Uh, I probably need to talk to my wife and probably need to, um, uh, you know, make sure I, <laughs> I had to work for the rest of the day so I couldn't like take off work to buy another car. But um, it was fun and I, I was pretty impressed. I think one thing that I wouldn't like generally, so I, I understand like, I think if you're into Mustangs, you're probably into, you know, horsepower and torque. But if you're into cars, you understand that horsepower and torque are not everything. And I, I think that, um, like, I, I, I sometimes say, like, I don't have a supercharger on my Mustang, or I haven't gotten, like, a something crazy fast, like, a, you know, like a, like a Shelby GT500 or something, because I don't necessarily need the horsepower. Um, and I also feel like I'd probably drive, like, into outer space and die. But the, um, uh, I would say that the, like the power, it didn't blow me away. Like it, it felt really good. It was a fun car to drive. I think anybody would, you know, unless you, you know, generally drive a Hellcat or something like that, you would enjoy driving a new Mustang GT. But, um, so when I, so my, again, get back to my, my test or whatever. So I got back into my car to, after I got the, picked it up from getting the oil changed and I drove back and the so my car is mostly stock like the only like performance modifications that might add like power are i have a aem filter uh and i have like a ford performance track cal tune and i have um exhaust from the like um from the not a cat back, but like over the axle pipes and um, uh, GT500 mufflers. So I think that um, it's, you know, it's not significantly faster than like a stock GT, but the tune gives it like a little bit more power and a little bit more torque. And honestly, like driving that car after driving the new GT, it felt like they're pretty similar um, and I assume that part of that is because the um, uh, the newer Mustangs are heavier um, and also the tune on my end. But yeah, I mean, I was still, I really enjoyed driving my car back, uh, which is like, okay, I'm not like desperate to go get a new Mustang, but I do really want one. They're pretty fun. And uh, I think it would be really cool to have all the tech and like safety and like infotainment features that they have but yeah okay i'm back in the garage enough daydreaming about getting a new mustang i have two mustangs can't complain so i wanted to share something a few things that i had picked up for the fox mustang um in my typical instead of actually trying to fix a thing i just order parts and then hope that they're the parts that i need um so I got a, um, the new like PCV valve piece. Um, and this is like the, I can't remember, the rubber grommet for the PCV. Uh, and the, and the screen, um, which, uh, this could, would potentially be the, um, piece that is like all mucked up and uh, needs to be replaced. <laughs> we don't know that yet because we haven't actually gotten behind the intake manifold. Um, I also got these, uh, these like plastic uh, washer gasket things for the uh, um, oil drain plugs. Um, I I, I basically just added them to the order so I didn't um, have to pay for shipping and I, who knows, maybe I'll use these anyway. But um, I uh, was gonna try to um, get behind the intake manifold at some point uh, since it's not crazy cold out, but um, I need to uh, get some light back there and see if I can figure out um, 
uh, what which of the uh, PCV pieces needs to be replaced, if any, um, and maybe try and get one of those leaks sorted out. But um, it's a little bit late. I don't know. We'll see if I uh, if I am able to make some time to to even take a look. But um, probably be included in my next uh, my next update video. But uh, anyways, uh, if you're still with me, thanks for listening to my rambling about uh, my thoughts on the new, the newest version of the Mustang GT. And, uh, and uh, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. If you're new to my video and you like it, or you're new to my channel and you like my video, please hit subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for more on the Fox Mustang, the Dude Stang, and whatever else. Hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're staying safe. Peace out.